I'm Aaron Ling Johansson, House Minority Leader. And Despite robust surpluses forecasted for this biennium, the legislature showed remarkable fiscal restraint and responsibility, recognizing that economic recovery is not a guarantee. Congratulations. Yeah, a handshake with the Republican minority leader sealed the deal for Joe Sugi to regain the position he held 13 years ago. Uh, the minority caucus is pleased uh, and united in its support uh, for his leadership as speaker. Yeah. Well, I think a lot in the legislature are excited to work uh, with Governor Ige. This whole arrangement has destroyed the minority caucus. Of course, right now I'm the most hated man in there. Fine, I can live with that. There's too much back room slithering behind the... I mean, all the stuff people hate about politics, that's what this is. It's only day two of the special session, but Republicans calling for the end to a bipartisan coalition created the drama of the day. I'd like the governing coalition to be dissolved. I want us to give back the vice chairmanships to the majority. You can have them, they've polluted us. They've, they've clouded our vision of what it means to provide a good yin and yang, a tug and a pull in a democratic process. Hasn't been good for you, hasn't been good for us. McDermott's resolution called for replacing minority leader Aaron Ling Johansson with Representative Gene Ward and triggered a floor feud that spun out of control. McDermott also wanted a new minority leader, Representative Gene Ward, who got into a heated exchange with House Speaker Joe Suki. You have switched out Representative uh, Cabanella, who's a no vote on same-sex marriage, with Denny Kaufman, who is a yes on same-sex marriage. Now, who's being deceitful by switching representatives? Please, uh, please maintain. I know, stick to the uh, truth. Representative, oh, no, sorry, you said don't again, stick I'm going to the call truth. you out of order. Well, you may do so, sir. You are the father. Thank you very much. I don't want any ownership of this. It's a sham process. It's a dog and pony show. Representative Beth Fukumoto left the House floor while all that bickering was going on. She later said she did not want to be a part of the personal tax and chaotic actions that do nothing to help the Republican caucus or the voters. Some political party hopping in Hawaii tonight. State Representative Aaron Johansson was elected as a Republican less than two months ago, but he'll serve Hawaii as a Democrat. Uh, I have decided uh, to switch parties. The former minority leader denied his decision to switch was due to a stalemate with conservatives in the GOP. Many uh, in the local Republican Party are becoming more narrow in their demand for ideological purity as well as uh, in their demand for a combative tone and posture. To Representative Fukumoto Chang and listen to the, the minority leader's remarks, please. Now, Mr. Speaker, I speak to you as the leader of the minority party. Mr. Speaker, many of the minority's priorities are consistent with yours and the governor's. People make personal attacks against me all the time. I'm regularly um, bombarded with people saying that I'm not conservative enough or, or other things. But Beth Fukumoto, uh, you'll excuse my metaphor, but you seven Republicans got in bed with the Democrats to form the, se the House <laughs> uh, majority this year. Correct. And how, do you, how are you able to find yourself if you're holding hands with the likes of Suki and the, and the other Democrats, the, what was it, the other mm -hmm. Democrats who made up the majority? Well, that's an argument, a question a lot of Republicans are asking us these days. So. We do need revenue enhancement for the future to take care of the out years. The out years are not good. Beth, do you like holding hands with a man who says we need re revenue <laughs> enhancement in the future as a Republican? I, that doesn't concern me. I think, I mean, I... But so. you know as well as I do, if, you, if that was Gene Ward sitting there right now, when he said that, he'd do backflip, right? <laughs> but, uh, uh, well, isn't, I'm not Gene Ward. <laughs> uh, but you're very... Uh, you're yeah, far, not but you not. 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 Hey, 
is that we need to start looking at postpartisan solutions and ways to be more pragmatic in the way we approach things and less dogmatic. Hi, I'm Beth Fukumoto, uh, co-chair of the Hawaii Future Caucus. We formed this caucus to look at different ways that we can provide common sense solutions and, and more, be more pragmatic about the way we approach policy. Um, and they're both Republicans and Democrats, so we are looking at building a bipartisan effort to engage young people. And as young people who are sort of living in an era that parties are not as important. Um, the bottom line here is that we hope to bring in a new generation of people into the political process. Young people and people of all ages who just want to get things done, who don't care about party lines, who don't care whose fault and whose blame it is, but really want everybody, especially elected officials, to work together to bring post-partisan solutions to the problems that have divided us and that have um, so polarized our community. And we are going to join with them as well as Congresswoman Gabbard in trying to do some things here locally that will help promote common sense ideas. Some people think they're doing the right thing by demonizing their opposition and furthering their goals through anger and fear tactics. But we cannot heighten our language to the point that we will never be able to agree on any issue. In that spirit, Mr. Speaker, I'm making a commitment to you and the rest of the body for the rest of this session as the minority leader that I will not criticize any measure on this floor without articulating an alternative solution that is trying to address the problem that the introducer is trying to address. On, as the minority leadership, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Representative Fukumoto Chang. Very nice speech. Uh, tell me, tell me uh, uh, your feelings about Taxes, because mm -hmm. I'm, I've always been interested in Grover Nordquist uh, uh, asking Republicans to sign the, their pledge. Did you sign their, your pledge? I'm not that black and white. I do not think that we should um, wholesalely just throw anything out the window right up front. Um, I'm not in office. You never know what kinds of things might need to be increased because maybe they haven't been increased in the last 50 years. Um, and, and maybe there are certain people, uh, like this year, um, the elevator. Um, and, and boiler safety inspectors uh, said, please just increase it so that we can get things moving faster. Okay, fine. Um, but had I signed that pledge, then I wouldn't be able to vote for that. So no, I didn't sign the pledge.